Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and here is this week's roundup of aviation news from high altitude to below 400 feet. In this edition, a design team at the Rose Holman Institute of Technology have designed Norm, the first UAV intended for emergency response professionals. The General Aviation Awareness Council presents a briefing paper outlining the importance of general aviation to the UK economy. Zipline drones are now delivering blood supplies to 21 hospitals in Rwanda. And engine failure after takeoff, how fresh are your skills? A design team at Rose Holman Institute of Technology have designed Norm, the first UAV intended for emergency response professionals. Norm is a vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial vehicle. Large enough to carry a useful payload and compact enough to be transported without disassembly, Norm operates almost completely autonomously. The acronym NORM, Network of Rescue Machines, refers to the team's vision that multiple autonomous landing stations and UAVs could operate in one area to provide UAV rescue support to a whole city or town. If you would like to help with the development of this fascinating idea, then search for NORM, the Emergency Response UAV, on Indiegogo.com. Their page describes the project in detail along with a three-minute video. Representatives from the General Aviation Awareness Council recently presented a briefing paper to the Minister of Aviation that outlines the importance of general aviation to the UK economy. General aviation employs nearly 40,000 people in the UK and contributes £3 billion to the national economy. The paper stressed the need to maintain a network of airfields to ensure that aspiring pilots have access to training facilities, as well as the environments that provide encouragement and inspiration for a commercial career in aviation. The General Aviation Awareness Council is an organisation founded by UK general aviation associations and supported by commercial and professional bodies. Its mission is to try to ensure that GA activity in the UK not only does not decline, but also to encourage its expansion whether that's in business flying, pilot training, sport, recreation or other forms. Visit gaac.org.uk for more information and subscribe to their newsletter. Zipline drones are now delivering emergency supplies to 21 hospitals in Rwanda. These fixed-wing drones can fly up to 75 kilometres from the launch site and they drop supplies by parachute. They can deliver blood and vaccines to remote areas where the roads are impassable or where time is of the essence. With payloads of up to 1.5 kilos, these life-saving drones can make 500 deliveries per day. Zipline plan to expand their operation to include the delivery of medical testing kits, contraceptives and a whole host of other medicinal supplies. This is just another example of the many benefits that the rapidly expanding UAV industry is delivering in a variety of fields of human activity. Engine failure after takeoff is one of those risks that are best mitigated with regular practice and situational awareness. Recently, Lee Barlow, a pilot flying a 1965 Cessna 150E out of Fort Bragg Airport in California, made an emergency landing on a nearby highway. Both he and the aircraft survived unscathed and he even managed to pull over to the hard shoulder to await the arrival of the emergency services. His quick thinking and decision making concluded this incident with no injury to himself nor people on the ground. His 50 year old aircraft did not sustain any damage either but it's not known what caused the engine failure. When did you last practice engine failure after takeoff procedures from your home airfield? Do you consider all the options when taking off from other airfields? Engine failure after takeoff is a stressful experience during which reaction time is crucial. You're at low altitude with low power and your options are limited. Make sure you are aware of the procedures for your aircraft at any given airfield. Very briefly these are Aviate, keep flying the aircraft. Navigate, choose a suitable landing area. Communicate, if appropriate, alert ATC to your intentions. That's all for this edition, so subscribe to my channel for the next. This was a Redspan Solutions production.
Head over to redspan.com to find out how we can make internet marketing videos for your aviation business.